Yeah, so um, obviously, uh, where are you at with your game right now? And is it weird being um, you and Drew being the oldest QBs in the room compared to last year you had Sean, who obviously his age was a punchline, but you guys are still young, but you're still the elder statesman at the quarterback room. So how have you been dealing with that transition uh, into like going from being the new guys to being the veterans? Yeah, I think it was a little different at first uh, when Sean, you know, we showed up for winter workouts and Sean wasn't there. Um, but, you know, ever since then, like I said, when a workout started, it's been good. Um, you know, we got used to it. And I think it's important for us to, you know, to get used to that in January to, to step into those leadership roles. It's very, very important at the quarterback position. Yeah, so uh, James mentioned Jackson as maybe the surprise of camp so far with how well he's played. Would you agree with that? And how have you seen him grow from the spring until now? I think any time... You know, I did it myself. You you enroll early as a mid-year in January. I think it's a really smart decision, you know, to, to have a spring ball under your belt going into fall camp. Mm. And I think Jackson's done a great job, um, you know, maturing and learning the playbook and getting more comfortable with that and also getting more comfortable with the team. I think he's done a great job. So you're, he's the only quarterback from the 23 class that signed. You and Drew obviously both came in from the 22 class, and he was talking about uh, how you guys kind of benefited from having each other to come along with at the same time. Uh, what were the benefits of having another quarterback in your class and both enrolling early? I think, you know, first of all, the benefits of enrolling early, um, you know, you get to have a spring ball under your belt. You get to be around the team um, more and get comfortable with your teammates and also get to develop under the the strength staff and Coach Rosie, um, you know, but I think, uh, you know, it's, it's really beneficial to do that and come in as a mid-year, you know, to, to help, you know, the transition come fall camp. Yeah, so um, how would you say your relationship with Coach Ursich has evolved over the years? I think anytime you can, uh, you can keep the same coordinator and, and get in the same playbook for two years in a row and get more experience with that, I think, you know, that's really going to help a lot. And it, mm. it helps on the field, you know, when you get to master the plays instead of just trying to learn your assignment and everything. I think that's, you know, maturing within the playbook and with your coordinator and growing with him is really important. Going back uh, to when spring ball ended, what were your biggest areas of improvement that you wanted to emphasize? And early on in fall camp, how do you feel like you've done in those specific areas? Uh, I think ending spring ball, something I wanted to, you know, really work on was, was just, um, you know, not, uh, you know, knowing the defense pre-snap, I think, you know, reading them and identifying coverages, you know, early on before the play happens. Um, and I think that's going really well so far in ball camp. I feel, I feel comfortable behind the center and, and I have a good feeling, a good grasp of, you know, what they'll be running before the play happens. So you're down here by the running back. We're not reading anything into that, are we? <laughs> no, I, I, I don't know if we're able to running back 10. Just, just, just kidding, just yeah. kidding. Um, talk a little bit about um, you're in competition with Drew, obviously, for the number one quarterback job. And you hear people say, well, he's the heir apparent and stuff like that. How do you focus on just what you need to be doing and not worry about what people are saying on the outside about Drew? Yeah, I think, you know, really just – you know, focusing, you know, on yourself and what uh, you know, individually you need to get better at. And I think taking it day by day, especially in fall camp when the days start to stack and, you know, there's a lot of practices, we have a long way to go. So I think taking it day by day and, and focusing on yourself. You have to look at it as it's going to be a long competition at the mindset that you have to have in this? That's always the mindset in the fall camp. It's going to be a long run. Um, so, you, you know, you have to take it day by day and not look forward and not look, not look behind. Um, there's been talk uh, in the past about packages for you and stuff like that. When you hear stuff like that, knowing that you're gonna be used in some way, what does that do for you? Yeah, um, well, every week, you know, Coach Yurisic Coach and the offensive you know, staff are gonna have a game plan, and, you know, whatever that may be, you know, I'm ready to execute it. Do you think it'll help you see the field more, though, having special packages for you? I think so. Anything I can do to help the team, you know, you know, whether it's, you know, running or throwing or, 